Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori. For those of you that are new here, today's video is in partnership with Linear. They're a female founded jewelry brand and they pride themselves in their luxe, quality, sustainable pieces that they offer at affordable prices to customers. They sent me a few pieces to review and I'm very excited about it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Perfect. All right, guys, I'm super excited about this today. Honestly, it's so timely. I was just saying to myself how I needed some more jewelry. And if you know, if you've been here before, I've said a few times that I am a gold girl. So I got some a few gold pieces, some gold for May pieces from Linear. Um, and it's actually super just fits perfectly with kind of my style. Linear is a Norwegian word and it actually means like lines. And they use that in reference to like their simple, minimal designs that they have. And I'll show you guys just a quick flash up um, on the screen of their website and all the different pieces that they have. I did get a couple of rings and a necklace. So we're gonna take a look at that today. So let's talk really quickly about gold for May, right? So like, what is that? I'm not sure, like, is it similar to just regular gold plated jewelry that you might find in, you know, stores just around? No. So. Gold Vermeil um, is actually a silver, sterling silver base, which is really, really key. Um, a lot of places that may be gold plated or gold filled, uh, or that places that offer gold plated or gold filled jewelry will have maybe like a copper or some other mixed metal base. And that, when that tarnishes is when you get the, the instances where your, your skin might be turning green and once the, uh, once the uh, gold plating starts to tarnish. But with Gold Vermeil, you do not have that. So Gold Vermeil has a sterling silver base and specifically for linear, they use a 22 karat uh, gold plating in theirs and it's two and a half to three microns thick. Um, so it's above, which is a little bit above the standard regulation for um, gold for May. And so they are guaranteeing years of use um, without tarnishing, especially if you're making sure you're taking care of your jewelry. And yes, gold for May can get wet and things like that, but you definitely want to make sure like you're wiping it off, you're cleaning it if you do get it wet. And linear prize themselves in sustainability. So they're guaranteeing that these pieces are gonna last you for many, many years. But another great thing about Linear is that they not only have gold Vermeil pieces, if you do want solid gold, they actually also have solid gold pieces and 14 carats. And in addition, they offer pieces with lab-grown diamonds. So um, they're big, like I said, on sustainability. Some of their pieces can use recycled materials if so. Um, they are big as well on conflict-free jewelry so that's why they offer the lab grown diamonds and you may have seen some of your favorite celebrities rocking some of the linear pieces including millie bobby brown Gigi hadid and Haley bieber and so once i learned once i myself learned a little bit more about linear i wanted to dig in a little bit more to see what um information they have on their website and they actually have so many um, little articles that you can check out too to learn more about gold for may solid gold their lab grown diamonds gold plated things like that like all kinds of information on their website too it's like a one-stop shop not only can you shop from there you can also learn a lot about jewelry from their website so i think that's really amazing okay so let's take a look at some of the pieces that i did receive from linear i got this cute little note in my package and it's just talking about how they were found so linear was founded in 2014. so like i said in the beginning of the video they have luxury quality products at affordable prices how do they do that they actually cut out the middle Man. so it's just straight from them to the customers and that's why they're able to offer such nice pieces at affordable prices okay so let's get into the first one so each of the pieces that I got I got two rings and a necklace and they came in these little dust bags that are so tiny and cute and they say linear on the front so literally just popping that open um, and then it's got a couple pockets here on the inside so you could court store a couple pieces of jewelry in here which is really great um, first, I'll take out this little piece of paper. You got some information here on how to care for your jewelry and the sustainability behind the jewelry itself. So you get a little bit more information here. So they also have silver on the website. So no matter if you get silver, gold, vermeil, um, solid gold, or the lab grown diamonds, it gives you a lot of information here on how to care for your pieces. Okay, so let's take out this first little piece. 
Um, oh, okay, this is cute. This bag is eco-friendly, 100% landfill safe, and environmentally degradable. We love that. So this is the Celeste studded ring in gold vermeil. So we're going to go ahead and pop that out. I don't know why I'm showing it to you in the plastic bag. All right, so this is the first piece here. Let's get that focus going. And then I'll also pop up on the side of the screen here um, what it looks like on the website. Ooh, look at that. It's so just cute and petite. I just got my nails done yesterday, thankfully, too. So I'm giving you the full look here, guys. It's so cute, this thin little band. And then they have a lot of rings, so you can stack them. I did get another ring, so we're gonna go ahead and take that one out as well. Okay, so this, okay. And of course, again, it comes in this little pink little pouch. And it's got a couple pockets in here, so you can store a few things in this bag, which is great. This is the Dagmar Twist Ring in Gold Vermeil. Okay, so this is what that one looks like up close. This one's very petite as well, which this is how I like my rings. Honestly, I think I might wear this one. I'm trying to figure out like, how should I do it, guys? Should I wear them like that? Every other finger? Should I put it on my thumb? I kind of like the way rings look on my thumb as well. So you can do something like that. I think that's really cute. So let me get you a little bit more detail on the ring. Let me close it up. So you can see this one's kind of like a twisted rope. Um, very dainty little twisted rope ring. They do have a measurement size chart on their website so that you can gauge which size ring is going to be best for you. And you feel like you get a ring on it. Now let's move on to the Feast of Resistance, my favorite piece that I'm most excited about. I'm not really big into Zodiacs. Um, I am a Pisces and I do I know a little bit about what that means for like Pisces versus like Scorpio, but uh, I really am very excited about this necklace. So this is the Z Charm neck, the Zodiac Charm necklace and I got it in gold for me and pisces of course because i'm on my knees let's take a quick look at it up close so if i can get the camera to focus okay so this is like i said in gold for me so this is what the chain looks like very very tiny i love a small thin little chain like this and you can see it's clasped um on the longer loop there, which you can see up here near my fingernail, there is another piece where you can clasp onto if you do want to make it shorter. So you can either wear it at 17 inches or 19 inches, depending on where you, how you like your necklace to drop. So this is the actual charm itself. So like I said, I am a Pisces, hey boo. And it's like a matte sort of plating here. So it gives it a bit of like a vintage sort of feel, I think. I really like that in the back, um, which obviously you're not gonna be wearing on the back if you are interested it's like just like a smooth gold plating here on the back if you have long nails like me this might be a little bit <laughs> difficult for you at the start but let's see okay there we go not too bad so this is where it drops here when i have it at the shortest setting kind of hard to see on camera the details but that is where the necklace drops on me, which I think is just perfect. And then I can see myself layering this with like another like skinny necklace. Maybe just that it lands a little bit above that or maybe like one of the tennis necklaces that they have. I think that'd be really cute. And it's just so just like simple, very minimal, which is how I like my jewelry. I think I've mentioned that actually on the channel before, so this has just been perfect for me. I absolutely love it. I have like four trips already planned for this year, so I will definitely be bringing these pieces with me and testing them out. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at underscore underscore T-O-R-R -R underscore underscore. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think about these pieces. Let me know what you think about the company. Be sure to check them out in the link below in the description. If you do have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. I'll be sure to follow up with you guys as usual, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!